Now in the higher paper, um, quite often there's uh, one change of units uh, question, and again, because it's a higher level paper, it tends to be squared units or uh, cubic units rather than the ordinary uh, lengths. Um, masses and things. So we've got to change in this question square millimetres into square centimetres. Well, I always recommend that if you've got to change units, then consider the two units as this is particular. Uh, this question was about squares. So if we have a one centimetre square, it'll be one centimetre by one centimetre. It will have an area of one square centimetre. But then we can say, well, one centimetre is the same as ten millimetres. So in this case, we can see that one square centimetre is actually the same as doing 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres, which is 100 square millimetres. So to change 8,560 square millimetres centimetres squared or square centimetres, then we'd have to do 8560 divided by 100. Uh, divided by 100 moves numbers down twice, so 8,560 becomes 85.60 which is 85.6 square centimetres. If you had to do cubic units, then again, the idea would be imagine what one of something is. So for example, say we was going from cubic metres into millimetres cubed, or cubic millimetres, then we can imagine one metre by one metre by one metre, that's the cubic metre, and then we'd be doing the same in millimetres, and in one metre there's a thousand millimetres so we'd end up doing that one cubic metre is equal to a thousand times a thousand times a thousand which is actually going to be one followed by nine zeros cubic millimetres so one cubic metre is one thousand million cubic millimetres